Hi everyone and welcome back to My Crafty Adventures. I know it's been a while, it's actually been a year. Uh, we've been doing renovations for the home and my craft room became kind of a storage unit. So I wasn't able to craft a lot during that time. Um, but I did just start working on a project that I began before the renovations and I wanted to show it to you. It's not exactly finished. I still have a lot of decorating and embellishing to do, but um, I'm enjoying working on it and I pulled it out and I wanted to show you. This album uh, I was inspired to make when I saw this gorgeous Graphic 45 Alice in Wonderland paper. It is so vibrant and the illustrations are so beautiful that I knew I just had to buy the paper and follow this tutorial that I found on YouTube. Um, I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a minute. Unfortunately, this has been in storage for a year and um, it looks like maybe some humidity got to the book a little bit, so it's a little warped. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to try and uh, make that better and straighten it out a little bit, but we'll go with it for now and um, I'll walk you through it and tell you a little bit more about the process. So I found this particular tutorial on YouTube. I think it was Paper Pixie, but I'm gonna have to double check and I will put that information below. The tutorial itself was 11 parts. Yes, 11 parts. So this took me quite a bit of time. Um, the outside of the binder here at the album, I decorated with a checked paper and the papers, like I said, are so beautiful. This is a cut apart from the collection there's a beautiful tea teacup paper that I put on the binder and the back of the book I did with the, ch the check that I have on the front. I hope this is all coming across to you. My son is at home and I have forgotten how to hook my camera up to my computer. So I am doing this, um, hanging my phone and flipping my book upside down. So... <laughs> Let's hope this works and you get a, a good idea of what I've created here. When I open the book, you'll see there's two different um, styles of flaps. The first one has little pockets here. And I can pull this little note card out, note piece out that I made. And it just opens up and you can you know, decorate it however you like or embellish it or uh, put some photos in there. And then there's a gatefold here that opens up. And I, again, use these beautiful papers that are just, you have to see them to believe how beautiful it is in person. The next one is just a waterfall that I created and it flips up and down here. So again, the tutorial uh, takes you through tw 11 or 12 parts. I'm not sure exactly. And she starts with the construction and then goes through page by page by page. And I did decorate mine very similarly to hers because I was following along and she did such a beautiful job. I will go ahead and embellish it the way I want to. And I did make some changes on some pages because I ran out of the paper. I didn't have enough of all the paper. Uh, but for the most part, it's very similar to hers. And um, the instructions were clear, uh, sometimes a little confusing, but probably not for the beginner album maker. So I really think I bit off more than I could chew here, but I was pleased with the way it turned out. This particular page also has a pullout pocket, so you can decorate that or add photos as you will. And I just added little pieces of blue satin ribbon. They reminded me of the color of her dress. The next page, the Queen of Hearts is here with Alice. And this is held together with a magnet. I'm going to scooch this over a little bit. So this magnet opens up to reveal the full page and then flips back down. And then the front of this opens up as well. On this page, I've done it in a similar fashion, just using a little different paper. Uh, 
Again, here is the pull out card. This page is beautiful. I used a little cut apart or uh, I'm sorry, wood chip just to make a little charm to hang here to pull out this piece of card. On the front here, there is another card that opens and then one page that opens up in the middle. So there's the pouch here, the pocket, the card, and then another card on top. This next page opens up with the magnet again and, and the her instructions were just wonderful. I mean, everything, the closures work great. The folds work beautifully. Um, she just did a really great job explaining the, the process. This page opens up like this at the top, you can see. And then there's a fold here as well. So this just flips up and this can open up to the whole page. Right here, there's some magnet closures and this opens up on the outside for something a little bit different. Instead of opening up in the middle, these pages open up to the outside. I just love the pinks and the blues in this collection. The blue with the roses, I think, was my favorite paper of all. And I have some extra and I want to make some different things out of that. Queen of Hearts again with a little trifold here. A pouch so I can add something inside. I haven't quite done that yet. Feel like I'm missing something. There's so many little pockets and flips here. Um, and then this page opens up again, another trifold. And it flips up so that there's an entire piece of paper underneath. I'm getting to the end here. I have a folded card here. And then if this one flips down so that you can add your photos or embellishments inside. And then this I love. I saw this on a walkthrough somewhere, this particular closure, and I had to figure out how to make it. So I did that. I just took two pieces of chipboard. One is the actual picture and one is a frame and they just fit together so nicely. And that opens to, give you the page and then they just kind of slip back together they fit one into the other and i that was a lot of fun i like that something a little different and then here we are near the end this is a waterfall i did that on this page and in, there's also a pocket here as well under the waterfall and then the very last page, some pockets here in the front, and then it opens up to your full page. And then the end. So I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. Again, I will put the information for how to complete this album down below. Once again, like I said, it was for the most part easy to follow provided you already have an understanding of basic crafting processes. Um, if you're a beginner, I don't know that I'd try it. You might get a little frustrated, but who knows? So I hope you enjoyed this. I'm so glad to be back. And I hope that I'll be doing more of these videos in the near future. I'll certainly be following all of yours. And thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.